first I'll talk about testosterone. Uh, His testosterone is not a problem at all. And and it's probably an error. You know, if he has a beard (laughs) and he has to shave, uh, or if he just wants to grow a beard, then his testosterone level is normal. And the chemical measurement of testosterone is off. And and here's why. It used to be accurate 20 years ago. But now with multiplex reactions where you're testing 20 different hormones at a time, uh, it's off. And here's the reason why it's off. All of our testing of hormone levels is related to the fact that every hormone in your body is slightly different in every single animal on the planet. There's a slight chemical difference between us and rabbits and rats with regard to thyroid hormone or estrogen or most of the hormones. Testosterone is different. Testosterone is a very ancient hormone, very well conserved. And it's the same for every animal on the planet. It's the same for humans and elephants and rats and cockroaches. I mean, it's just no different. And worms, it's the same hormone. So the only way you can raise an immune antibody to it is by attaching a, a foreign protein. And you can do that, but the modern multiplex reactions are very poor with it. So very often we get a very low reading just because the platform is inaccurate. And so we're stuck with uh, evaluating men's testosterone level, unless it's extraordinarily low, like below 100, we're kind of stuck with going by their clinical appearance. And so uh, I, I am sure that his testosterone is not a problem and has nothing to do with the sperm. And if, for, if he has a low sperm count, we don't worry about it because we inject the sperm into the egg anyway. So don't worry about your husband. Now, your fibroids are not a worry either because we can fix them. But we shouldn't do that while your eggs are getting older. The most important thing is to get your eggs now. Get your eggs and fertilize them with your husband's sperm, freeze the embryos, and maybe do several cycles because 44-year-old eggs are just not that fertile. And if we can store up as many as uh, six uh, day three embryos or three blastocysts from your um, 44-year-old eggs, then we can have a baby rate that's about 40% success rate. And that's just not pregnancy and miscarriage, but a true success rate. But first, we'd have to fix the fibroids. So pardon my expression. First, we get the embryos, we freeze them. We have six or seven or 10 embryos available, and then we'll attack the fibroids, and only then we'll transfer the embryos back into you. So that's the right order of events. 